Hello everybody, welcome back to Back Out of the Case. This is Skyflight44, aka Sec44, and today I'm going to be playing Lord of the Rings at Two Towers. And, well, we're finally getting to some of my favorite chapters in the entire game. The Rohan actual uh, levels. Now, out of the three of them, the first two are good. The third one's a bit subpar. But the first two... Along with Amon um, Hen, probably the um, Fangorn Forest level, and possibly Balan's Tomb are the levels that I generally play the most when I come back to the game, whenever I do. I mean, I have really haven't played too much of this game since, like, 2008. But every single time I generally go back to it for maybe, like, 20 minutes... 30 minutes, which, <laughs> to be honest, you can easily play like a third of the game in that time. It generally sticks, it generally, Gandalf, what the hell are you doing? Okay, you need it. <laughs> yeah, he just, uh, he just needed a hand. But, um, I generally stick with, um, Amon Hen above all outs, and then probably this level. Now this level, we actually have to go as quickly as possible, and we have to save the citizens, because if uh, you don't help them, they're going to die, and you're just going to fail the mission. Actually, there's a lot of missions like that in this game. There's uh, quite a few missions, at least. More so than the, um, more so than the next game, The Return of the King. Though, that game's still better. But, um... The, um... Hmm. I gen... If you haven't actually noticed... I generally like to... Play some of these levels with different characters. And while... Part of that had to do with... You know... Trying to show them all off. In an actual, uh, you know, showcase, a playthrough... I was... Some characters are just better suited for certain levels. Generally, you would want to either play as uh, Aragorn or Gimli in a level in which you're going to be swarmed. Or, um, you know, some like Legolas if you're really going to need range. In which there's one level that's going to be coming up. Not in this actual... Uh, part, but in the next part, you're much having ranged attacks, really, really good ranged attacks, especially, what was it, um, I forgot which one it was, what was, uh, Legolas's, um, upgrade, I believe it might have been Mithril Arrows, Mithril Arrows, that upgrade gives him the ability to actually his attacks, his uh, ranged attacks go through enemies and can hit multiple. That's incredibly useful on that level. Getting a nice perfect mode and then trying to kill as many as possible. That's kind of necessary. Especially on the hard mode. Now, while a lot of the levels that I actually enjoy doing most generally tend to be the levels that aren't too difficult to actually go through while at the same time not really like handing me you know victory on a silver platter like the uh prologue uh stages or well not prologue stages but the very earliest ones like a uh, weather top like the actual prologue last alliance and um well, that, uh, that Road to Moria level, I... That is one of those levels I will play, I will repeat, but it's just kind of barren. And the fact that you're playing against goblins means even when you do get into combat, it's not all that long, especially if you're playing against Gimli. Now... I was trying to go and I was trying to go and figure out what 
levels should I... Which levels should go to which characters, basically. I had the hardest time figuring out which levels should probably go to Gimli. I possibly should have uh, changed some of the levels around for some of the characters, because Legolas didn't have the best selection. And at the same time, he actually did have a quite a lot of levels that would have been best for him. But um, Gimli was also another tough one. I just couldn't find levels that uh, would fit him In best. Alone, defending Rohan, the King's Guard were also fighting through to Helm's Deep. Oh, this level is actually pretty fun. It has... This is a ranged level. There are bombs everywhere. And we're actually going to be introduced to that enemy there. <laughs> Basically, the, uh... The Urukai suicide bomber. It's... This is a fun level. Explosions everywhere. And you can kill a lot of people through explosions. Not to mention, uh, the, uh, the guy with you is actually, you know, completely invulnerable. Just like, uh, any time you actually go in with, uh, some of the other characters like, uh, Aragorn or Gimli. Unless specifically noted, they're completely invulnerable and the only thing that uh, can really happen to them is that they get knocked down can't be killed so it's okay just go straight out with any kind of um, any kind of explosion and especially if you actually have quite a bit of health don't fear actually attacking those uh, suicide bombers if they get a bit too close to you they, those bomb guys, if you actually let them attack you and explode, you're not getting any kind of, you're just not going to be getting any kind of um, experience for it. But if you do actually slash them, I believe you do. Now, oh good, actually killed that guy. Um, now, I just want to tell you a couple of... Uh, upgrades I should probably have or be getting around this time because by this point or by at least by the next chapter you should be at level 6 and level 6 actually does give you quite a bit more um, it actually opens up more skills for you uh, for our Gimli it actually opens up his first ranged upgrade not to mention, he also is going to be getting quite a lot of health in that one. Um, Aragorn, it's uh, actually gets Master Swordsman in it, which will actually make his speed attack do more damage, which speed attacks are generally what you want to use most. So it's, uh, you know, pretty good for him. And Legolas actually gets Dragonfire Arrows. Really cool, because it actually sets enemies on fire. Now, uh, what was it? Uh, oh yeah, that was another big thing about uh, level 6. That'll actually be pretty good. You can actually go and get Orc Bane. Now, there's three actual Bane attacks in the game. There's um, Goblin Bane, Orc Bane, and Bane of Saruman. What they actually do is they allow you to instantly kill an enemy by parrying an attack, doing a speed attack, and then going in for the kill. Not to mention, ev out of every single combo, they generally have the flashiest and most badass animations. I... It, in the hard mode, it's really, really good kind of needed that you actually go and learn how to do the Bane attacks just because they actually give you perfect mode after you kill your opponent or at least they'll uh, give you excellent which will basically nearly give you perfect mode but I, I do believe they give you perfect mode immediately the um, the later missions you're going to want to be in perfect mode for all 
lot of the time because else it's going to be a difficult actual um, difficult time. Well, to be honest, I only think that the speed attack is needed to go and do the uh, to actually go for the combo just so that you can't actually instantly kill any shielded enemies but uh, that's just purely speculation but um, the you you know the, the goblins would just be the uh, would be those earlier guys the orcs would be those guys with the axes and those shield guys and then Bane of Saruman works purely on Urukai and especially the later Urukai the ones that we're actually seeing now um, the armored ones it definitely you could probably use Bane of Saruman to go and take them out though parrying is generally something you do by pressing the B button or the parry button can uh, you know over and over and over um, just because pairing is it, it's not like you're blocking you're just holding down a block button and then you're going to be blocking forever pairing only works for about like a half second a second I don't really know the time but it, it it's it's not continuous now with a uh, with one of those bane attacks you can only press the parry button once so you kind of have to make the you, you kind of have to have good timing with the blocking it's not like incredibly difficult to do it's just something that uh is a bit more annoying <laughs> um here is the third rohan level i don't like this level too much just because it's kind of boring and short that's a problem with this game it has a lot of short levels the only level that was actually really really quick i mean not, not quick but long of decent length was um the fangorn forest one that one took what seven or eight minutes all the other ones have been taken around uh five minutes or so five six minutes this one's only going to be taken like four or less, maybe three. This is a match versus you and Sharku. This fight isn't all that difficult, but it's really difficult in this level to get perfect. The reason why... You can get perfect if you don't have upgrades to your speed attack or your fierce attack. Those kind of make the, um, they really do make the wargs die way too easily. And you really can't get a second combo in with Sharku, so trying to go for a second one it generally gets you hit after it's done. So it's kind of difficult to you know just get your uh, get your actual combo meter your um, excellence meter whatever it's called uh, to be perfect it's just uh, an annoyance this is every other mission even the f couple of first missions can be done in perfect you can get a perfect rating fairly easily by just knowing how to play the game Hell, even the one with uh, the earlier one with the um, goblins, the Road to Moria one, isn't all that difficult to get a perfect in as long as you're not using, you know, Gimli. And you try to hit with your um, combo finisher, not with the earlier hits. It's not too hard. But this one just sucks. Now, what you want to do is you want to go and fake out Sharku and then immediately attack him once he actually uh, goes up. Don't fear about health. Those warg riders that you're going to be killing later on 
pretty much when they drop health, they for the most part always drop the um, they drop green uh, health files, which is uh, pretty cool. But look at that one charge. Charge rage attack just kills it. Granted, I'm using the best arrows in the game, but that's kind. They don't have. They just don't have the health to get it perfect. And I think I got the People best I've ever gotten in this. Is an excellent. Yeah, this was, uh, that level was actually kind of a disappointment, in my opinion, a little bit. But oh well, it's better that they have it than they don't, because of how short the game is. In the next part, we're going to be going through Helm's Deep, and that's going to suck. Trust me, difficulty spike. See you, everybody.